from now on, we are enemies. You and I. This video is to show how to remain a low level, defeat Grigory and get his weapons, and then enter Bitter Black Isle at a lowish level, prepared to fight without cheesing, without throw blast, you know, all the bullshit stuff. Like actual legit fight on par with defenses. There are three things that you need to do to keep a low level. One, do this in normal mode. Two, have high level pawns. And three, don't kill anything except for the gatekeepers. You will gain a lot of experience from completing quests, but it's those enemies that you kill that will catch up to you. I can defeat Grigory at this rate and only be level 25 to level 27. So, don't kill anything, just run past them. The gatekeepers are enemies that you must kill to complete a quest. Our first gatekeeper is this Cyclops outside of the encampment. We have to kill him to progress the level or the quest. The second gatekeeper is actually a lot of enemies. The goblins, the harpies, the wolves during the escort quest for the Hydra Head. You have to kill these, otherwise they'll kill your ox. Now, not all can do this, but I can. It's not absolutely required, but it does help with the process. If you have multiple accounts, you can gift yourself higher level weapons to dispatch the gatekeepers, especially the griffin. The griffin is a must to kill when you lure it with the bait. If you do not kill the griffin at that location, he will fly away and you will have more running and more enemies that your high level pawns will kill, gaining you experience, keeping you from keeping low, that you don't want. That is somewhat uncontrollable. The pawns will kill some here and there, increasing your experience pool. Just run past as much as you can. Your friend's pawns are often level 200 with high gear. You can rent them for free and they can help kill those gatekeepers but again they will also kill the little things gaining your XP the things you're trying to ignore you could go solo during the running and completing of quests and only get the pawns when you have a gatekeeper to kill like this here killing these rabbits for discipline and killing these goblins don't do that it adds up and you'll get level ups that you don't want. You would just run past these guys. And don't do any side quests. No Kina, no Selene, no Madeline. Just run past enemies and get to the next gatekeeper or the next quest completion. Uh, having multiple accounts is really helpful not quite necessary but you can get the worm king ring you can gift yourself that bypassing the whole solomit quest giving yourself uh, higher level weapons not quite necessary but it'll help our next gatekeeper which is the hydra after completing that we have to kill all these goblins and we have to kill all the harpies bandits, so on. You just have to kill them. There are some quests that are better than others when trying to keep a low level. There are some enemies that you think you need to kill. Some enemies that you may think are a gatekeeper, but they are not. The quest route a monster infestation. You can immediately fail that quest, which ends it right after you arrive at the hold and not have to kill goblins, not have to kill cyclops. The decipher text requires no killing at all, just 
go arrive somewhere, talk to someone, quest complete. And then if you can gift yourself the Worm King Ring, you can bypass the whole Solomit hunt. The Everfall, just do Splitter all the way down to Strider, skipping all the undead, Ogre, not gaining any experience from those kills. And you can let the Gore Chimera open the gate to Grigory at the final quest, not having to kill Gore Chimera. And I'll show you all that here. Now you might wonder uh, why someone would want to do this, keep a low level, blah blah blah. I don't know, it's just some people like doing that. Some people like going into Bitter Black as level 30, not being able to use level 51 weapons, being overpowered, you know, it's the challenge. Once you get so far through the game, it can become easy, and you want to challenge again. So, keeping low level, and then still not using throw blasts in Bitter Black Isle, but like proper combat, you do need the weapons to achieve that, like the Grigory weapons. Remaining level 30, getting the Grigory weapons, going into Bitter Black Isle. Like a true challenge, rather than just pause, throw blast, pause, throw blast, boring, so on. In hard mode, all of these enemies here will drop a shit ton of gold, like 400,000 gold. In normal mode, they drop rift crystals. Not so many, but that's what you get. Rift crystals instead of gold. Luckily, we sold all of those freebies early on and got 300-something thousand. We'll need that money later. One for Maker's Finger, Blast Arrows, Parry Ups, just to kill the Gatekeepers and Grigory. I've done this whole setup recently as each vocation, trying to keep them at about 30. Sometimes it goes higher, like 40 or so, just depending on how many vocations I need to rank to get desired augments. In particular, I always get Assassin's Augment because I always go solo. Sometimes I'll want to get Sorcerer for Acuity or Clout from Warrior, and then that just increases your level up. Or the Ur Dragon. Defeating the Ur Dragon will usually get me two level ups that I don't really want to get a weapon. Now, most of you in normal mode would be level 12 or level 15 at this point. Or in hard mode, maybe about level 20, 25. Currently, I'm at level 8. And then. We can just skip the whole Everfall, doing Splitter all the way down, not having to kill anybody, not getting that undesired experience. And again, skip all the side quests. Don't save that guy with the uh, heart. Don't return back to Barnaby to turn in the quest. Because once we're done here, we can go talk to Barnaby and say, Hey, this is what happened in the Everfall, blah, blah, blah. And then you get experience, you get a level up. So, just don't go back to him. And then Maximilian. Accept only the Decipher quest, and only route a monster infestation quest. We only need two, we don't need all four. From all of the starting gear items that we sold, 300,000 in gold or so, we need to get Maker's Finger and some Conquer Parry Ups. And then later, many, many Blast Arrows. But the Blast Arrows will not be available until after we meet the Duke and just before the Griffin, which they'll be needed for the Griffin. So decipher a text, kill no enemies, just progress the main quest line. 
And if your pawns end up killing some of these enemies, undesired enemies like the harpies, wolves, bandits, whatever, during these running portions when they have access to enemies, you could always turn them in and do that portion solo to avoid them killing. Now for this quest to go through the mines and reach route of monster infestation, the ogre in here does not need to be killed. Don't accept that guy's quest to clear the mine either. Run past the bandits. Once you get to ogre, don't kill him. Just lure him to the weight pedestal so that he can unlock the gate for you. That's all we need. We just need the gate open, and then we can continue. And then the other two, we don't need to kill either. Ogre's body weight will lower this pedestal much faster than all four of us. And there it goes. And we can do the same thing with Gorkhimera later. The four weight pedestals. He'll unlock all four of them open the door, and then you just ignore him. And then here, same thing, ignore the uh, Saurians, just run past them, run past the goblins, get to the quest, where we would kill all the goblins, kill the cyclops, and further progress the story, but we actually don't have to kill the cyclops or the goblins or go through that whole quest. We can end it soon as we reach the captain. So normally we go through here and there's a gate that is closed and in order to open that gate we have to kill everyone. But if this guy dies then the quest essentially fails. We failed the mission, but it completes the quest. So we can skip all that bullshit behind the wall here. Keeping our experience low. So no side quests. Don't kill anything, just turn in these main quests, which are unavoidable, and carry on. So now I'm level 14, we've met the duke, now the first hard, difficult gatekeeper. We have only a small amount of time to make this happen, as the griffin is very quick to evade the area, and then that'll take you through many bandits, harpies, undead, and so on to reach the griffin again, this path, and the time it gives your pawns many opportunities to kill things and ruin your experience gain. So if you can kill them right here, it'll be optimal. There's an autosave just before, once you get the bait cutscene, and if you fail, reload and save and try again. Here I have blast arrows, parry ups, and liquid vim. Make sure we kill them right here on the spot. So we can't fly away. And we're good. Now, not all of you can do this. I gifted myself the Worm King Ring, which is a big help to avoid the whole Solomit hunt and killing Solomit and getting experience that we don't want. Here comes Mercedes' vanishing act.
And now I'm just going to run to the Great Wall and place a, a port crystal for later. I still have to go do the Mercedes quest and then turn in that quest to Aldos. But for now, just running past all the bandits, Cyclops, bandits, Cyclops, Chimera, goblins, harpies, running past all of them to the Great Wall, which we'll teleport to later after I place my port crystal. Alright, we did the uh, Mercedes quest, back to Aldous. Next is the Cockatrice fight, make sure you've got blast arrows. And do your teleportation, run past enemies, ignore them, teleport back to Grand Soren, fight the Cockatrice. With the Cockatrice, he doesn't need to be defeated, we don't need to kill him. You only need to get his health lowered, and then he will flee. So, try to avoid killing him, because that'll be experience that we do not want. All right, now we're getting really close to Grigory, level 22. There are two gatekeepers here. You can run past these Cyclops, run past the Harpies, run past the undead. Don't let those guys talk to you. Now Chimera is a gatekeeper. You need to kill him to progress and open this gate. Gates open, gatekeeper killed, run past the undead again, and even beyond these undead, you can ignore the skeleton lord, just open that door and leave, but I do want the kunai, so I decide to kill him so this other door will unlock and I can get the kunai daggers. And then after this we have the second true gatekeeper, the whites or lich, whichever they are, you need to kill them to progress.
Now, there are no gatekeepers in the Tainted Mountain. You can run past everything. The Gore Chimera room just needs to be unlocked with the four weight mechanisms. And then it'll open up the door. So don't kill Gore Chimera, just get him to open up those weight pedestals. He'll help you out. Maker's Finger does not help with experience gain. It merely just makes the whole fight disappear, saving time. So you don't truly need it. You don't even need to be Strider to do this whole scenario. I chose Strider because I like Strider. He has dodge. He can use Maker's Finger. He can use Blast Arrows. Now we're at level 27. After Grigory, I've got my Grigory weapons. I'm almost ready to go into Bitter Black. However, I still want to rank Strider. And I want to rank Assassin. And then beyond that point, you can continue ranking. And still not be above level 40 after that. Because we are in normal mode. We have high level pawns. We're gaining low experience per kill. And this is just right for the discipline to rank up vocations. Now this next portion is optional. If you want the holy weapons from Ur-Dragon, I would suggest sleeping at an inn prior to entering. This way, if you do not get the desired weapon, you can reload the last checkpoint, putting you back at the inn, back at where you were at level 30, 
And you can try again until you get that desired weapon. You'll get two levels here, two or three depending on where you're at. In my case, I got the Ascalon. I did not get the Heaven's Keys. So I reloaded the check save. And then I simply just gifted myself the Heaven's Key. Keeping me at level 30, having the Dragon Weapons, having Heaven's Key Daggers, and then I was ready for going to Bitter Black and starting that. And when you have your desired vocations ranked, and you have your weapons that you want, you can switch to hard mode. And now, not care about experience gained, because you're in bitter black with a lowish level, proper weapons. And then recently, I've done this as sorcerer, strider, ranger, warrior, magic archer, so on, trying to keep as low as I could, 30, 40, with the proper weapons, going through bitter black, and this is how it's done. Right. 